Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Darren with GuitarControl.com. I'm bringing you this video lesson. And today I want to show you how to play the solo for Live and Love and Made by Zeppelin. Uh, this is a fairly easy solo uh, pick up even if you're a beginner. Um, it doesn't have a lot of really fast motions and stuff. It sounds really cool, but it's not. it sounds harder than it actually is. Alright, so uh, let's get close up and take a look at what we got going on here. Alright, so we start off, we're on the 16th fret of your D string with your third finger. And then from there we go to the 14th fret of the G string, and then back to the uh, D string. And then back here again. So, And then to the 16th fret of the G string with your third finger. So, And after we move there, we do... We bend a whole step and release. So we do that twice and then we, we end up on the 14th fret on the G string. So, so far, whoops. And then from there we go to the 17th fret on the B string and we're going to do three bends. Another whole step bend. One, two, three. And then after the third bend, we end on the 17th. And then 15, 14. All on the B string. So. Alright, so that's the first part of it. Then for the second part of it, we repeat part of the first part. And then from here we come down, and this is the kind of the more tricky part, especially if you're uh, a beginner. So we're going to come down to the fifth fret on the B string, and we pick that note, and then we re you just release your pressure, so you're just touching the string. So you you do a downstroke on the note, and then you release the pressure, and you do an upstroke just to get that percussive sound, and then you just move up a half step, do the same thing. Again, again, again. So. so we do it all the way to the twelfth fret. Then, uh, and I like to do this with my second finger. Um, you could do it with your first finger if you wanted to, um, but I like to do it with my second finger, and I'll show you why. So yeah. So we go to the 13th fret with our 3rd finger. And then back to the 12 again. And then we do a bend. Whole step bend. And hold it. So. Whoops. And then from there, that's where it goes back into the goes back into the main riff of the uh, of the song. So let me do that again, uh, the whole thing slowly. earlier is be sure to click on the link uh, in the description for the tab so you can follow along. It'll make it uh, much, much easier to do it. So here's the solo again, like uh, up to tempo. So I hope you enjoyed that and you got something out of it. Um, this, uh, like I said, it's it's harder than it sounds. So even if you're if you're fairly uh, you know new at guitar, um, this is something you get down with just a little bit of practice. I've, I went over this with lots and lots of private students that you know were 
fairly green and they were able to pick it up and uh, uh, you know, without like a whole lot of problem you're just going to have to put in a little bit of uh, into practice into it to get it down. Alright so uh, that's all I've got for you today. Uh, like I said be sure to click on that link in the description to get the tabs so that way you can you know have it and follow along and then you can go back and uh, watch the video more and play along with it. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see either myself or one of the other instructors here at guitarcontrol.com do in a future lesson, uh, leave me a comment down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for uh, more videos and uh, lessons. And until next time... <laughs>